Hi, it's D here, and today I'm going to look at the much anticipated first smartwatch from OnePlus, the Chinese consumer electronics manufacturer based in Shenzhen, China. Now I'm a big fan of their smartphones, so I wanted to delve deeper into this new product to find out what makes it tick, explore its features, and see how it stacks up against the competition. So let's get into it. OnePlus announced the watch at their OnePlus 9 event on the 23rd of March 2021 and it goes on sale in the US on the 14th of April and in the UK on the 26th of April. It'll cost you 159 US dollars or 149 UK pounds. For this you get a smart stainless steel case and a tough but breathable strap made of fluoroelastomer. This material is a synthetic rubber with a wide chemical resistance. The circular design measures 1.39 inches and it has a weight of 76 grams. It makes this a little bit more substantial in size to many other smartwatches on the market. Keep this in mind if you're not a fan of large watches. Available in midnight black and moonlight silver, you'll also find a limited edition cobalt version, the case of which is twice as hard and corrosion resistant compared to stainless steel. The price of this is yet to be released at the time of making this video. Cobalt is an unusual choice. Tesla are removing it from their batteries because of its high costs. Also cobalt contact dermatitis is well documented, although to be fair, cobalt is in many things such as medical products, hair dye, antiperspirant, and plenty of other metal plated products. Time will tell if cobalt in the limited edition will cause any issues. All devices are IP68 protected against dust and water, and 5 ATM waterproof, which means it can be submerged in water up to 50 meters for 10 minutes. Very handy for all you swimmers out there. There are 50 watch face designs to choose from, meaning that even the most fussy watch wearer should find a pleasing design. But just in case you can't, you can also use photos as a watch face. The AMOLED display gives good quality at a level in line with other smartwatches. Pixel density should give a sharp image where the individual pixels can't be seen easily from a normal distance. Over 110 fitness workout features should keep you busy, such as running, swimming, dancing and parkour, to name but a few. Auto detection will auto enable some features, so if you start running the watch starts tracking, and auto pauses when you stop. A nice feature I think. Sleep tracking will give you the lowdown on sleep activity while in the land of Nod, and the heart rate monitor and oxygen saturation monitor will help you keep an eye on those vital signs. GPS will help with tracking those long walks, runs and cycle rides. And the built in 4GB of storage is enough to hold around 500 songs which you can listen to comfortably with the OnePlus Buds. However, half of this storage will be used by the operating system. Work too hard for too long a time and the watch will gently remind you to take a break, get up off the chair and perhaps stretch a little. The stress monitor will also alert you to your stress levels when they're rising, perhaps just before that meeting with that mean boss of yours. OnePlus watch also has a speaker, microphone and Bluetooth 5, so you can take calls hands-free on the watch, a real bonus over many other brands I think. The 402mAh battery can last up to two weeks, but as with any battery powered device, the more features you use, the more of the battery gets depleted. Using features continuously such as blood oxygen monitoring and sleep tracking could see the time reduced to around a week. The good news is there are no endless hours of charging as just a quick 20 minute charge will get you a week's worth of use. The watch can also control a TV, for example volume up or down or power on or off options are just a screen tap away. Do you ever fall asleep watching the TV? No problem, the watch will recognize this and power off the TV after a short time. A very green feature indeed. All these delicious features are available to monitor using the app available for Android but not iOS so be aware of that if you have an Apple device. If you have an Apple device then you're probably better off with the Apple Watch. In my opinion the feature set of the OnePlus watch at this price point is impressive. You get a lot for your money and a long battery life and fast charging is very welcome. However not everyone may like a large watch like this. It's not going to look small on a small wrist. The lack of an iOS app could also put some off. So what do you think of this new watch? Does it interest you? Anything attracting you to this watch in particular or the brand maybe? Or is there anything making you not want to buy it in particular? Comment below please and let me know. If you have any questions please also comment and I'll try and answer them. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you found this interesting or useful I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. It's a big help to me if you do. Please also consider subscribing if you wish to see more tech related videos. Thank you once again, please stay safe and I hope to see you soon.